There you have the Bay Circuit Trail offset and it's indicating the way towards Noon Hill in Medfield. This is High Street in Walpole and this is where the trail follows a section of power line before re-entering forest through the striking and wonderful Mine Brook area. I've already hiked this, but I stupidly forgot my camcorder batteries last time. So this time, I brought them. There's another indicator blaze. And it's a relatively short poke down here before we'll be coming to the spot where you enter the forest. It's just a little ways over there. It's a pretty nice corridor, if you don't mind a power line or two. Ooh, look at some giant discarded ceramic things. Yikes. <laughs> Entry point is right over where that gravel cut is. Oh boy, major pissed off chipmunk scene. That's all right, we'll be getting out of here soon. So they must just, this is the pile where they toss these things when they need to be swapped out, I guess. They're pretty huge and interesting as industrial form. This is an incredible section of the base circuit. Underappreciated. And it's been driving me Nuts that I stupidly forgot to bring the camcorder batteries. I tried an experiment making little snippets of video with my point and shoot and augmenting it with dozens, like 400 photos from my Rebel T3. But after looking at it, although the images, the photos are fine, a real wonderful trove, the QuickTime format video kind of sucked. So here I am again. <laughs> In one way, though, it's kind of cool because I just have to mostly make video today and then match it up to the photo pile I made a little later. 
Actually, I think we go a little further. Because I recall we'll be at a place where the downward slope of the power lines is more evident. We came from there. Oop, and there goes a monarch. That trends northerly all the way to Newburyport and Little Raleigh where I was on Monday. And this trends south eventually to Duxbury where I'm not likely to be anytime soon. spot where I ended the last trip and discovered my lack of batteries. There's the base circuit offset. I'll sit down for a sec and then begin the long jaunt. This was really a triumph for the creation of the base circuit. The moment when the court decision agreed that utility companies were not liable for whatever stupid menacing stuff morons do to themselves when they cavort around here. That was their big worry. The ATV crowd, the yahoos that somehow break their necks doing daredevil stunts in this strange, forbidding terrain. Once the power companies were off the hook, they were only too happy to participate. Look at the color down there. I've noticed this. The color seems to be starting in the lowlands. And working its way, probably it's cooler there at night. More likely a frost formation. Autumn gorgeousness. Off in the distance. And right here before us. So there's the offset blaze. And the cool thing about this particular place is there doesn't seem to be any great sense of territoriality about it. <laughs> These look like they may have been ATV ruts, but that was what I found striking going through this, is that it's amazing, but it seems to only be known to a few local hunters and more adventurous explorers, but I'd argue it's easily one of the nicer hiking sections in the Bay Circuit Trail. Oh, and look at that. That's probably the boundary marker for Medfield. I remember it being an element 
distant noise of a gravel operation. I get the sense that the big dig and all the frenzied building activity in the run-up to the Great Recession principally enriched <laughs> the various clans of gravel barons one finds around here because when you look on Google Maps the satellite version at the gravel pits here you'll see these huge McMansions plywood palazzos from hell that probably came to life from the enrichment brought by all the gravel it took to cover the big dig. And all the concrete that went into all the McMansions that consequently ended up financial seizure problem. 